Hi, my amazing creative friends, Oksanta here again. Today I'm super excited to share a lesson on how I create cutout patterns with gold or other gradient colors. I received a lot of requests to show my technique, so here it is. Uh, this is a preview lesson from my brand new online course, Multiplier Patterns, 15 Practical Ideas for Growing Your Vector Pattern Portfolio where I share close to 20 ideas on saving time and making the most out of your existing elements and patterns. This course was inspired by my bonus workbook that my creative friends on my newsletter list received as a gift. This course shows how exactly to accomplish all of the ideas I outlined in the workbook. So now let's uh, learn how to create a gold cutout pattern in Adobe Illustrator. In this lesson, we are going to add a bit of gold and shimmer to our patterns to create a totally new style. All right, you guys, let's hop over here and I'll show you what I mean. So this is the pattern that we are going to work with uh, starting out. It's our silhouette pattern. Silhouettes are really awesome for this type of uh, application. And this is what I mean by gold. So I created a simple gold foil um, gradient that I will show you how to make in this lesson. And I applied the uh, cut out based on this silhouette on top of it. And I created this imitation gold uh, pattern. Okay. To get started first, where it can, I will show you that this pattern consists of two things. First of all, it's actually a cut out of this, uh, uh, of this pattern based on this silhouette pattern. It's white and there is a gradient on the bottom. So this is how this type of pattern is built. There are other ways how to uh, work with gradients, but this is how I make these patterns. And the uh, only warning is in here that this uh, pattern is then you can edit the, the colors, you can edit the um, you can edit the background, but you cannot move the elements uh, around anymore, just like you can move in the blue version because it is a cutout. But the actual pattern still works very well. All right, so this is what we have here, and I will show you how to build both of them. I also created a silver kind of a silver version to go with it, and I will uh, share exciting bonus. Uh, at the end of this video. All right, so how do you make this type of pattern? First of all, let's make the cutout. You can make the cutout based on different patterns that you have and they are all will produce different styles. Okay, so first of all, you can see here, this is not a cutout. It is actual uh, elements that you can move around. Let's go into this inside of this group and we can basically move the elements around. I will show you what I mean by the cutout. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to select this pattern. There is, make sure that there is a white background on in the back of the pattern. Then we are going to open up Pathfinder window, Pathfinder. All right, and we are going to go to divide right here, divide. You click on it, you wait uh, for your pattern to work. And now our pattern is all cut up. You, you don't see it happening anything uh, right now, but it is basically cut up in pieces. And then we're going to select magic wand to hit Y. And we're going to click on the blue, make sure that it's only blue is selected in the fill here. And we're going to hit delete will look like as if everything is deleted but if you click again you will see that a lot of um, uh, elements are shown and you can see here that it's a, it's will be white all right let's create a 600 by 600 rectangle fill it with a color maybe green and then align it on the artboard, command X, command B, and you see what I mean here. So now we have a cutout based on our silhouette and the background in behind. 
if you go inside this cutout, you will see that it's literally as if you would cut out holes in this white sheet of paper. That's what I mean by cutout. It's almost like a laser cut. All right, so we have our cutout prepared. Let's prepare our, uh, our gradient. So this is what we are going to be building. First of all, create a rectangle, 600 by 600. Uh, okay, uh, color it. Let's color it with this uh, dark gold color. Oh, wait, no, just try again. So if you have a gradient and you want to pick a color from a gradient, this is a tip. You need to click, sh hit shift and then click with the eyedropper tool I you will have that exact color where you clicked on the gradient only. Okay, let's position it here so we can see better. And double click for the another artboard. And let's lock this object lock selection. Okay, so let me first of all sample a few colors so that you can copy exact colors here. Uh, this color is, I will drag it here, double click on it, you will see here. You can copy the CMYK numbers into with, uh, by number so that you can uh, create the same number for yourself. And I will click on this, um, sh again, shift click on this light yellow color, light gold, double click. And this, these are the numbers. You can copy them and to get the exact color. And let's click on this a little bit darker gold, shift click. And this, these are the numbers again. All right, just in case you're going to build this uh, for yourself, these are three colors. So what we're going to do next is we're going to select this square, solid filled color square, and cli double click on the gradient tool G. This is the gradient menu right here, gradient panel. Now let's gr grab the, co the color that you want to use for our gold and drop it on the gradient. So you can see that now we have the, some process for the gradient. Uh, and then let's drop the light gold somewhere here and the medium gold here. And let's drop one more copy of this darker one in the middle and just cl double click on this little uh, bo bottom square. And let's just make it a little bit lighter so it's not as prominent, a little bit more. Okay. So basically, this is how you can build your gold gradient. Now let's copy this gradient and let's go to our cutout. Let's delete the green background and hit Command B to paste our gold background. So now you have a white laser cut cutout on top and our gold gradient on the bottom, just like that. And then, of course, you can create all kinds of gradients. And you, as I did here, I created a silver version to illustrate the point. But also you can create uh, different types of gradients, not, uh, not metallic, but other gradients as well. Just you need to make sure that on this side on the right and on this side of the left is the exact same color so that they can be seamless. Because if you have, a, if you drop a lighter color here and darker color on the right, then it will not be seamless. It will be a sharp cutout, which will be an issue. Just in this type of work, very important. This exact same color dropped on this edge and exact that same color dropped on this edge on the left. This way they will be seamless horizontally and vertically as well. All right. So this is the how to make this type of uh, gold and silver patterns. And I have a little bonus for you for you all. Let me see. I'll show you right here. Bonus time. I created bonus textures of my gold and silver foil vector repeat backgrounds. 
gradients for my course students to download and use in your patterns as well as other bonuses you will receive once you join the course and learn all of the tips and tricks to grow your pattern portfolio super fast today. The link is in the description under this video. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Good luck everyone and stay golden!